fetishized. My worthiness is measured in cup sizes and big booty. Integrity is dismissed and compromised. Body parts named, polished and sexualized. They say it's the sway of my bell derriere, the clumsiness of my breasts, the fullness of my lips and the arch of my back. Objectified by the media, my nudity is plastered on billboards and marketed in rochi music videos and magazines. Battered in foreign currency, sold for consumption, I am just an experiment. I'm a product of disrespect. Patriarchal society trashes my name with a twisted perception of my body. Lord, incapable of love, a belligerent woman with an insatiable appetite, my tinted shade is salaciously appreciated with sexist comments, but not pursued. Grop me in public. Bring me to my knees because somehow my history conditioned me. To be a slave and a rape culture is nothing but a myth. Stereotyped, I am the proverbial angry black woman waving the blood-stained banner, cussing out at everyone like the world owes me something. The world owes me nothing. Archetypes of my history are plastered on the walls of public laboratories as a legacy of colonialism and imprinted on my consciousness. Voyeurs of my ancestors lined up on the auction block, come back to me in sepia each time my femininity is masqueraded on the stripper pole. I'm a symbol of trauma and degradation. I wear the shroud of shame that Sarah Batman wore when she was paraded in the freak shows in London and Paris. Too much, too much, they say, a fruitry. That dress doesn't flatter your body size. A fruitry? Your hair is nappy. You need a few lashes of lye on your scalp. See, I can't control the way my thighs rub when I walk. <laughs> I can't control the way the wind dances when my afro is masqueraded. <laughs> See, anecdotes of my femininity leave shards of my identity dripping over my thighs affecting the way that I see myself and you in the hegemonic depictions of my identity as an African woman I'm not an object to be fetishized or a part of the body shaming brood in twisted society's hypersexualization of the African woman I wear this skin this hair this body with so much pride.